Hello everybody, my name is Kim and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the stamp tool in Storyboard Pro. You see here I've got a couple of cows and you'll notice that each cow is on its own layer. Now that's a pretty important thing when you're going to make a new stamp brush is that the images you want to be involved in the stamp have to be on their own layers. So I've got one cow on each layer. Now I want to make a stamp brush out of these cows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I select all of the layers that I want to be included in the stamp. Then I'm going to go over here to my tool properties and I'm going to add a new brush. I'm going to call this brush cows. So you can see it automatically adds a new brush called cows and you can see over here all of the images on my layers are included in the stamp brush and by default it makes the maximum scale 100. Now if you just go and try out the stamp over here you'll see that when you use it your cows come up all in order all at the same size so we're going to go and we're going to play around with some of the properties of the stamp here again you can see your brush at the top you can see your maximum scale and you can see your minimum scale now right now the minimum scale is at 100 percent of the maximum we're going to pull this down because we're going to put these cows in a field and we want them to be at different sizes Okay, then you've got some options down here for your roundness and angle. Now, if you pull the roundness down, your cows will get squished. We don't want them to be squished. We want them to be full size. So I'm going to leave that at 100. And then you've got the angle, which will actually rotate the images in your stamp. So we don't want that either. I'm going to leave that at 0%. Then we have spacing, which will sort of put a little bit more spacing between your images than you have before. So as you can see, almost zero spacing, which is 5% places them right on top of each other. And then as you go higher up, you'll see that they start to spread out a little bit. Now I want my cows to spread out a little bit, so I'm going to leave my spacing up. Then you get random size, random angle, and random spacing. Now this will randomize the size, angle, and spacing as you draw with your stamp tool. Now I don't actually want any of these on. I want to be in full control of how my cows scatter and what size they are in. But you can see that if I turn this up, what it does to the actual stamp images, it'll randomize them, which means that you won't have a lot of control over how it looks when you use the stamp. Then you've got your cycle down here. So right now we've got a normal forward cycle for our stamp, which means that when we stamp, it's going to stamp in the order of the layers that we provided for the stamp tool. You've got reverse, which is going to stamp them in reverse. You've got forward to reverse, which means that it will stamp them forward first and then reverse. Reverse to forward, which is the opposite. Random, which will randomize the order. And hold, which will hold just one of the images and stamp that all the way through. Then you also have a reset cycle for each stroke. We're just going to keep it a forward facing cycle and we're going to use these cows just to fill in the background on some of our panels. So I'm happy with these brush settings. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to the panel where I would like to put some cows in. Over here we want some cows in the background. And as you can see I've made a little layer for my cows. Remember we changed the maximum and minimum scale for this, which means that according to how I draw with my tablet pen, which is what I'm using right now, the size of the cows is going to change. So if I press lightly, I'm going to get a very small cow. And then the harder I press, the bigger my cows are going to get. So I'm using this to make sure that I get a realistic spread for my cows. And because these are just images that are being placed, if there is something that's a little bit off, like this cow over here is way too big, we can still select it and adjust it afterwards. And that is how you use the stamp tool in Storyboard Pro.